Hello everyone, good evening. I kind of wanted to do an update on the 5354 Fetters Weather Bureau half ton unit. Um, the chassis is basically done. Um, the only thing that I'll need to revisit at some point is the line cord. And I'll show you what I did at this point. I had this uh, gray cord kicking around. Um, I put a right angle plug on it for now and I have it hooked up with factory style connectors. Um, the original cord, I think, is probably just chancing it too much to use it. It's, it's petrified. Even though it's repaired in here, every bit of insulation is completely disintegrating in this cord. So what I'm going to do, I want to replicate this, so I'm going to measure the thickness of it. I'll show you guys the end again, just so you can see. The end is molded. Two prong. So, um, my friend Anthony has had success using heat with a, um, exacto knife, cutting open these molded connectors and then putting a new wire in. So I'm going to measure the di outer diameter of this wire and there's marine grade wiring that's gray. And I'm going to order whatever magic cable it takes to get this thickness. Even if there's three or four conductors inside and I only use two. But I want to get the same looking cord with that original end back on it. But for now, at least I got a cord here that's safe. Um, it's 16 gauge. It's a little undersized for this unit, but it doesn't get hot when it's running. So, um, anyways, the case cleaned up very nice. I mean, you know, I, I cleaned, uh, degreased, you know, polished the grill. Um, it came out really nice. Yeah. You know, Fetters logo is really cool here. I don't know if it makes any. Can I? Oh, well, let me turn the light on. Um, the chassis. Nobody. I don't think this. This will be the first time that the complete chassis is shown. So um, the only thing left to do is to change the the insulation back here. And I've ordered some uh, like a dynamat material from Amazon. Um, I think it's got a matte black finish on it, so it's got self-adhesive on it, and I'm going to uh, put that on here back, you know, to replace all the stuff that fell off. Because um, it just disintegrated as it got wet. So, the blower motor I painted blue. As I said, most of these blower motors, I believe, were a blue-green color. And this is the khaki brown. Um that uh, Ace Hardware sells, and I'm pleased with the way that looks. It's it's very, very close to the original Fetters Brown. Repainted the black on here. Um, obviously the uh, Tecumseh Type S compressor. Um, go to the back here. We strained out all the fins on the condenser. Got a nice clear path there. Um, Got to still figure out what year this is from. There's a 5.4 C454 at the beginning there. So this could be a 1954 model, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure what other date codes would be on here. And the start relay, I've been informed I should test that. So I, I think I'm going to check it out and see if it's frozen, which it could very well be. Um, and here, I'll show you the control panel. So all these decals survived on this. I don't know how for the life of me these survived all these years, but they did. And I'm, I'm pretty pleased that they did survive. Um, I actually had to re-glue a couple of them down because they were starting to lift. And there's the control panel. Um, and the knobs. I actually used my white paint pen and kind of went over these letters because they were sort of rubbed off. It's it's I did an okay job. They're not perfect, but they're legible. Um, this air removal opens the door on the one side, and then 
This side opens the flap over here. This is a lot of tension to open this door. I sprayed quite a bit of lubricant in there, but it's still really stiff. This side don't feel so bad. No. I pull this cover off again to do the line cord. I'll look into that a little more. The filter, I had some green filter material. Um, I put that on here for now. I don't know if that's necessarily the right stuff to use, but oh, I did it now. I think there was a frame around this originally, which is now missing. So, I have to see if anybody, Russ, Ken, if you, either one of you have the, the frame around this, I'd like to see what it looks like. Maybe I can make something out of aluminum. Um, but let me get the temp gun. I think I put, ran the heat for a little while. We should be able to get the compressor to kick again. Um, yeah. So, turn it on on the blower first. wattage is really starting to come down on this blower motor so I'm thinking the motor is starting to loosen up I think that clattering is a little piece of this air filter. Might have gotten sucked in, I don't know. This is restricting the airflow a little bit, so. But anyways, everybody's waiting to hear it is, so here it goes. I tell you, airflow is really pretty decent out of this thing. A lot more than you would think. An ambient in here, 60, I don't know, 62. It ain't, it ain't that warm in here right now, but. Oh, compressor cut out. I should have cranked that up some more. A little piece of my filter got sucked in. That that little clatter there was not there there before. Well, I think we lost our opportunity here. It's getting too cool in here now. Anyways, just want to show you the chassis. The chassis again is basically done. Um, this was my collateral damage here. You can kind of see the faceplate was a little bit black and it's just slightly bleached. Um, so be really careful with Nubrite, all I can say. You just don't want to get it on any paint. another video of this once we get the sleeve done and we'll do another full run test on it all right thanks for watching enjoy oh wait a minute before i jump off i might as well just i know there's some questions about the 14k weather wheel um it is complete here's the the grill it, the grill's not in the best of shape. It's really dirty and it got mushed in over here. So it's going to need some 
strategic gluing to fix that up. It's a 64, 65 unit. Um, and uh, it was probably in a smoking house the way it looks. The sleeve is actually in pretty good shape. Um, Fetter's logo is just about complete. One little chip in the corner. And the paint isn't horrible on it, but it'll probably get a repaint. So, anyways, this is complete. Um, I'm probably going to start this from going away on a vacation for a week. When I get back, I think I'm going to hit the ground running with this thing. Um, it's not horrible. It's not as bad as the 20K weather wheel. I would say it's probably um, comparable to my 10K. It's got some, some coil rot. It does have some uh, pan rot, but not horrible. Um, so we'll make a unit out of it. And I also got to find a line cord. The, uh, obviously, you guys saw this was cut off. So this is a 20 amp line cord. So it's got that NEMA 10-20 connector on it. I have to find. Um, anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.